Hey everyone, it's Bill Duran here from Punished Props and I am really excited to share with you guys a brand new series that we're doing here on our YouTube channel. The series is called Prop 3D and it's all about 3D printing. We've teamed up with our pals over at Autodesk to bring you guys a series on 3D printing for props and costume making. Now I've talked a whole bunch about 3D printing in the past, but I haven't really done a whole bunch of it myself. Well, the hobby and the technology has gotten to a point now where if I didn't jump in on it and give it the old college try, then I would be doing you a disservice. So we're doing it. I'm also excited to bring a whole bunch to you guys, especially when it comes to finishing your 3D printed pieces to make really cool looking props and costumes. Starting next week, we will be launching a five episode mini season. Each episode will take one small project all the way from start to finish, including 3D modeling, printing, and finishing. Each project will also employ a different method of finishing, so you get to learn a whole bunch of different techniques. For this season too, we got ourselves a 3D printer. This one here, our pals at Autodesk hooked us up with. This is the Dremel Idea Builder. We got ours over at Home Depot. We actually just drove over there and picked it up. It's really pretty handy. It's kind of a one-stop solution. We pulled it out of the box, plugged it in, and we were printing in minutes. I also like that I can go to Home Depot if I ever need more filament. Bear in mind though, if you have a different 3D printer, just about all of the techniques that we cover will apply to yours as well. Now as an experienced 3D modeler, one of the things I'm really excited to bring to you guys is techniques on how to prepare and model pieces for your props and costumes. Sure, you could go to Thingiverse and download a pre-made model and print it out yourself, but if you have that custom thing that you absolutely need for your prop that doesn't exist anywhere else, I want to be able to empower you to make those yourself. Now for this series, we'll be using Autodesk software called 123D Design. It's really powerful, it's free, and it's super easy to get into. We'll have a link in the description where you can go download it for yourself. It comes out on Mac and Windows and even on the iPad. Anyway, here's a quick rundown of what you can expect for our 3D printing process in this series. We will design and model our pieces in 123D Design. We'll go over specific techniques there to make sure that you design your pieces so that they're optimal for 3D printing, including the resolution you'll be using and the optimal print direction. This also includes breaking up pieces to print them in different parts and different directions. And we'll go over splitting up models that are just way too big to print out in your printer so that you can make them in separate pieces and then put them together later. Once your parts are all modeled, we'll send them over to Mesh Mixer, another piece of software from Autodesk, also free. This will prepare your model for 3D printing and then we'll dump it right into the software that comes with the Dremel to slice it up and get it ready for printing. The file gets dumped into this machine right here. You hit print and it prints out your piece. When the pieces are printed out, that's when the real fun begins. That's where we can try out a whole bunch of different techniques for finishing your props and costume pieces. This includes, but is not limited to, smoothing out those pesky print lines, assembling multiple pieces if you've printed out a whole bunch of different ones for one prop, painting your 3D printed material, or making a mold of your 3D printed material, and then casting pieces out of that mold. So there you go guys, first episode is next week. Look forward to that. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you jump on and do that because you don't wanna miss this. We have a whole lot of really great content coming out. Not just the 3D printing stuff, but all the other prop and costume making content that we have. If you haven't already, check them out. I have a couple other videos about 3D printing that you might wanna look at before we get started on this whole thing. And of course, we have a bunch more prop making videos that you ought to check out too. So get out there, start making some things, warm up your 3D printers, because this is going to be a fun ride. Whee!